We all require picturing programs, and we're working in Dr. Racket, Intermediate Student with Lambda. Let's work in the Interactions pane. So if you're on my platform, you'll click Control D a couple of times until the whole of Dr. Racket's is taken up with Interactions. Now suppose for some reason too complicated to explain just now, you would like a back-to-back -back vertically reflected over itself image of a chameleon. Here's how you might do that step at a time by hand. You could flip the chameleon horizontally. Then using Alt-P to go back and edit what you've already done, you could put that image beside, well, the unflipped version of itself. Make sure you close parentheses halfway there. Alt-P again. And we can go back up put this image above, well, put it above itself, only vertically reflected. So copy what we've already done, flip that thing vertically. Make sure that you've got closing right parentheses. And it's starting to look pretty cool. Now suppose we want to do that on images other than that particular chameleon. Here's the problem. We could cut and paste, but the value of that chameleon appears in four different places, and we'd have to go and fetch a chameleon from somewhere each time. There's four places in that block of instructions where we've got that chameleon image. We'd really like to produce a function that has a placeholder for a chameleon, and then whenever we provide it with a value of a chameleon or something else, it does exactly the same steps. Here's how we do it. We use define. We pick a name, Rosette, which it turns out hasn't been used anywhere before, and pick is our placeholder. After we define that, we tell it what to do with pick. So we type basically the same instructions, replacing chameleon by our placeholder pick each time. So we're going to put pick beside itself flipped horizontally and then put that above. What will we put it above? Well, gee, we might as well copy what we already have. Because we'll put it above a vertically flipped copy of itself. closing right parens, and as soon as we set enter, we have our definition. Now we need to try out our function on something. So we could go back and get exactly the same image as we had started with before, see if it does the same thing. So copy that chameleon image, and now we apply, sometimes people say call, rosette on that value. Get the same rosette. We could be silly and we could apply rosette to this newly produced image. See what we get. My goodness, a rosetted rosette. Now just to show that rosette works on values other than just chameleons, we can go up and copy an image of a parrotfish. Apply rosette to that image, and we get a parrotfish back-to-back -back with itself and vertically reflected over that.